Are crunches safe after having a baby? And should you avoid planks forever? And does diastasis recti ever really heal? If you've been confused by all the mixed messages out there, you're not alone. So today we're gonna bust the myths and we're gonna talk about what science actually says are the best and the worst exercises for diastasis recti recovery. Just to introduce myself, my name is Camille from the Mommy Tummy Fix program. I help moms heal their cores, burn fat, and feel strong again after having babies. And I want you to feel confident in knowing what is safe safe for your body after you have a baby. So let's break down the research and separate fact from fiction when it comes to core rehab. Okay, just a quick refresher. Diastasis recti is when the connective tissue down the center of your belly called the linea alba gets stretched, it gets thin, usually during pregnancy. So instead of your six pack muscles being close together, they're separated. They have been stretched, they've been pulled and sometimes even torn from pregnancy and they need rehab. Every mom deserves rehab after having a baby and we're on a mission to take rehab to all the moms. Now, the goal of recovery isn't just to close that gap, but it's about restoring tension in that connective tissue and getting your deep core muscles, especially your transverse abdominis and your pelvic floor working properly again. So let's start with the stuff that does more harm than good. This is what you'll want to avoid, especially early on after having your baby. So the first thing is crunches and sit-ups. Research shows that they can increase intra-abdominal pressure and actually push out against that weak tissue, making the gap even worse. Number two, planks, push-ups, and mountain climbers. Same thing. It can be a lot of pressure down the midline of your core. And if your deep core isn't ready for it, it could do more harm than good. We need to restore that tension in the connective tissue before we do things that are going to pull it apart. And then number three, twisting ab moves like Russian twists. These can pull unevenly on your core as you twist from side to side. And once again, can worsen that separation if your core can't stabilize. Now, I want to be clear. These moves aren't necessarily bad forever. It doesn't mean you can't ever do them again. But if your core isn't healed or if you don't activate your core properly, they could do a lot more harm than good. And that's why there's moms walking around who feel like they still look pregnant, even though it's been months or years since they had a baby. Chances are their ab muscles have not come back together. We have not restored that tension in their core. And so that's why these exercises are doing more harm than good. So what does the research say that we should be doing? Studies have shown that core stabilization exercises, think really small controlled movements, can actually help bring the muscles back together and make them strong again, which is all of the exercises that we teach you here on the Mommy Tummy Fix channel. Let me give you a few examples. Starting out, I always recommend that you start with deep core breathing. Some people call this belly breathing. Some people call it 360 breathing or 3D breathing. What I love about this kind of breathing is that it helps connect your mind to the muscles that you are using. Muscles like your diaphragm, your transverse abdominis, and your pelvic floor. Many times during pregnancy, it's hard to activate these muscles because you're growing a baby and we can't really feel those muscles. And so you have to learn how to use those muscles again. Once you've figured out the breathing, I love to move into TA activations or your transverse abdominus muscle. This muscle starts all the way in your back at your spine and wraps around kind of like a corset. The way that you activate this muscle, you can do it lying down, you can do it standing up, you can even do it on bended knee. It's just a really gentle draw in where you pull your belly button in towards your spine while breathing. The key is breathing and you're gonna actually activate these muscles with your breath. Once you've mastered TA activations, then you can start to move on to other exercises like hill slides or marches. This gentle movement is going to not only strengthen your core and keep it engaged, but it's gonna help to heal that of separation. You can also start to do things like glute bridges. This is gonna strengthen your backside. And also remember your core isn't just your six pack muscles. The muscles in your back are part of your core as well. So we've got to strengthen our back muscles along with our muscles in the front. It's your total core that we are working on rehabbing. Now, here's what I want every mom to know. You don't have to avoid every ab exercise for the rest of your life now that you've had a baby. Once you have done some rehab exercises for your core and you've learned to activate your core correctly and you've helped to bring that tension back to your core, you've closed that gap, you can start to incorporate moves like planks and sit-ups. They're safe again for you to do. The key is progression. We're gonna start gentle. We're gonna start with these exercises that I 
outline today. And then we're gonna progress slowly, watching for doming and coning, and we're gonna build strength step by step. Remember, it took nine months to grow a baby. Give yourself some grace and be okay with it taking some time to heal and rehab your body afterward. What I want you to remember is it's never a permanent, don't do this again, but it's about knowing when your body is ready to start incorporating all those ab exercises you used to do before you had kids. All right, moms, the bottom line is this. The best way to heal diastasis recti is by starting small, focusing on deep core activation, and then avoid those high pressure moves until your body is ready. You're the only one who can decide what is right for you, but science is gonna show that the right exercises done consistently really do make a difference. And that's what this channel is all about. So if you're ready to start healing your core, whether it's been six weeks since you had your baby or six years or even 60 years, I have a free 14 day deep core challenge right here on this channel that walks you through the safe first exercises to start with. I'll link it to the screen and I will put it in the description below. But don't forget to subscribe to Mommy Tummy Fix for more science-backed workouts and tips. You don't have to do this alone. We're here with you every step of the way. All right, we'll see you next time.